What's up everyone, Deacon from Yakuza Fan here. Welcome back to our second part of Yakuza 6, uh, first time through. Uh, right now I'm just playing through what is the demo. Uh, if you guys watched the previous video, that was nearly 45 minutes of cutscene. So I'm gonna, I just, I decided to break them up into two separate videos just to, uh, just to break up the monotony a little. Uh, if someone just wants to see kind of gameplay and messing about in Kamurocho. Uh, it's better to just start in this video. Uh, I really wish I could show you Kiryu kind of leveled up. Not the Dragon Agent, still looks great. Oh, it's so good. Now get used to this heat action. You will see it over and over and over again. Whoa! Look at this guy go. Look at the guts on this guy. There we go, perfect. Here we go, and now that we've uh, had a battle, we've unlocked our experience. So, first thing I always like to do, come in here and equip these. Uh, I, I don't want to get into too much. Uh, random battles. I kind of want to show off the city. So we're going to equip the uh, the Morning Glory photo. And uh, this just gives you like a plus 10 defense. So it, it's a good little starter item. Uh, we do have some uh, opening heat actions that I usually like to go for. Uh, right now though, I think I'm going to get the uh, the attack boost. And uh, probably the... Oh, apparently that's all I get. Okay, well thank you tutorial. And there we go. So just, just in case you forget your combos, they give you this to... Uh, to kind of catch you up. Just in case you need to like go back and look at a tutorial. It's always there on your phone. One of the things that I really appreciate. Is you can send a sticker to the tutorial guy. And you actually get like little replies. You seem restless. This is great. It's cute. I, I like it a lot. So there's the camera Rocha newsletter. The Champion District is undergoing reno uh, renovation to address the deterioration of buildings within the area. And same deal with the uh, Park Boulevard. So, due to major construction on the sewers on the north side of Shichifuku Street, pedestrians and drivers should exercise caution while in the area. That's one of the things that bugged the hell out of me first playthrough because it felt very much like, oh, we didn't finish the city in this side. You know, please, please ignore it. But then you come down, uh, you come down this street here, and you check out what they've done to the theater, and it looks amazing. Like they they've totally redone the entire theater, and the Millennium Tower is actually life size now. Like it's not just this vague height; they actually modeled it to the actual size that the tower should be. And one of the cooler things that that you don't even realize starting off. And th this is going to be a little slow going for me, unfortunately, because I don't have any uh, sprint upgrades. You can go right inside the Millennium Tower, jump over the side, and oh, what do we have here? Photo of Nishikiyama. Now, I can't remember exactly where it is, but somewhere in here, I want to say here? Did I get it? Somewhere in here. I'm going to leave it to you guys to find. I can't remember the exact spot for it. Somewhere in here is a uh, is another ghost. And they're always fun to find. Uh, let's head back upstairs. We can get out of here. Perfect. Uh, where the hell are we going? Okay, out the door. Um, yeah, they, they've just... They've really honeycombed this city a bit. And I really appreciate that. Like, honestly, it's one of the cooler things that they ended up doing. And you get, you, like, again, with the voice acting, usually in the old games when you walk past people, it would pop up with those weird text boxes. Now when you walk past people, it actually has the subtitles. Like, they're, they're fully voiced. They're just chatting to each other. It's amazing. Okay, let's, uh, let's go up this way. Let's head to, I want to say, Bucket? Uh, Bantam, there we go. The traditional Irish pub of Bantam. Sorry, I'm still 
Okay, so Little Asia. Okay, so anyone who's gonna play the demo, uh, I want to say Little Asia is where it ended. It, it, I it might go all the way up to uh, finding Akiyama, but if I recall, the uh, the Little Asia fight was the end of the demo, <laughs> which is a, a little bit disappointing. I'll be honest. Um. Oh man, I don't, I don't want to ruin these ghosts for people, but uh, I want to say around here there's another photo... Here we go. If anyone who remembers Yakuza 1, Yakuza Kiwami, there's a photo of Yumi. And if you're just walking around... Right right around here. You can kind of feel a rumble in your controller. So, you know, track down that photo. Uh, jeez, what else do I want to show off? There's so... The city's changed so much. Uh, yeah, right here. This... It's so obvious that they just didn't finish the city beyond this point. <laughs> like, the, the large-scale reconstruction of the sewers, like, if anyone remembers what's down in the sewers in that area of Camarocho, that's not a good thing. You can come up here behind the batting cages, and uh, there is our first uh, safe key. So, they got rid of locker keys in this, which is kind of a bummer, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, Instead of having like 30 locker keys to find, now there's just a, like, I want to say like 10 safe keys around. And almost always the safes are right next to where you find the keys. Like they're really easy to find. And just pop them open. And there we go. A strength tome, an agility tome. Perfect. Look at all these tomes. Whoops. And then you can, excuse me, I keep hitting the uh, touchpad. Here's our items. And then if you read these tomes, you just get experience boosts. Like, they're just there to get you experience. I don't know why they make you read them, but whatever. You can't do anything else with them. They're just there. Um, now, we could go down here. Go down the ladder like idiots. Or we could take the easy way down over here. Perfect. <laughs> Ten point landing. <laughs> and again... Everything is seamless. We just walk into the popo. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's just giving us the evil eye. Ah, man. So, maybe, why don't we hit up the Club Sega first? Um, actually, you know what? No, no, no. Here's a better idea. Let me uh, let me bring up my map. Yeah, we'll head over this way. We'll, uh, we'll do a sub-story. Uh... Again, there's, they've honeycombed this. Like, th this building here, you can just go into if you want to cut through without being attacked by anyone. Like, usually you'd walk down the street over here. But if you don't want to get attacked, just pop through the building. You pop out right next to the Club Sega. Uh, here we go. Let's pop off one of my favorite sub-stories in the games. And again, sub-story. Fully voice acted. So, this little girl, she loves Haruka. Haruka. She wants to get some Haruka merch. Unfortunately, no stores sell it. And her mother disapproves because Haruka's dad is a Yakuza. There you go. Anyway, you a Haruka fan? Yes, I am. Hey, I want some merch. I don't know where to get it. Yeah. She was at one of Haruka's uh, handshake events. She gave her courage. Now she's a lifelong Haruka fan. Reminisce about Haruka. Okay, don't worry, little girl. I will get you some Haruka merchandise. We're gonna buy some Haruka merchandise. To the Don Quixote. And if I recall, sub stories. Once you've activated them, the next part of the substory does appear on the map right away. 
So it makes it really easy to kind of like play clean up. Uh, I don't know why they moved the giant barrier wall that used to be here. I guess they just didn't want to model that part, but whatever. Uh, I'm going to try and do this without bumping into more sub-stories. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh, crap. No, it's fine. We're just going to run. Forget it. We're out of here, guys. Run right through the restaurant. Right up. Oh, there we go. Boom, right back in front of the Millennium Tower. This is the thing that I love about the Dragon Engine. Everything is just so much more fluid than it used to be. I would really love it if the Dragon Engine would just let me escape, but whatever. There we go. And there we go. Now you can actually run from random battles. And it's such a nice addition. Oh, you know what? On our way past, let, let's check this out. Uh, so, now all of the restaurants, again, you can just walk right in. Here we are. Right up to the, uh... Right up to the Smile Burger. And if you take a look at this, you can... I want to say you get a you get a hamburger, you get a fries, and you get a drink. And if you order that... Kiryu sits down, you can see his uh, stomach is filling up there on the left, and he's going to get an experience boost from that. And uh, while my stomach is full in battle, I think it gives you an extra experience boost as well. And boom! Combo bonus. You get extra experience if you get a combo of food. It's fantastic. Again, another one of those just little... Little things that they added. That they didn't need to be there. It's just this cool little addition. Uh, Don Quixote is down this way. Man, you think this would be the first time I played this? There's that sick Don Quixote theme song. And again, first person mode. Go explore that Don Quixote. Look at the weird bananas. With all these phone cases here, weird hats. And the Japanese souvenir section. Go talk to these widows here. Look at this. Look, look at that. I, I want one of those shirts. Don Quixote, I know you guys are watching this. Send me one of those shirts. Sweet. See, here's all the cool shit that they sell. Cat food, that's going to come back. I want to say this here, the ri the Rising Wave Zero Black is a uh, tie-in item. In Japan, this uh, brand of uh, cologne actually got released uh, with specific Yakuza 6 scents. That you can actually buy and uh, wear. You know, it smell like a uh, smoky bar or a uh, bunch of citrus, if I recall. Uh, here we go. Haruka. Look at that. He went right to the back to check for us. Okay, so. Classic sub-story style. Head to the club, Sega. There's, uh, fan there's Haruka fans who meet there. That we can uh, pump for more information. Ah, oh, man, I really don't want to get into any random battles. So, hey, what what would you guys like to see me showcase here? Like, if there's something you guys like are curious about, Yakuza Six, something you want me to show off. Oh man, I can't. You know what? Let's uh, let's go right into here. And first thing we're gonna do here is. Can we... Where is my... Other skills? Oh, here. Boost boost that sprint right away. Because th this is infuriating. As soon as you can, get this sprint up. Because Kiryu runs like an old lady. There we go. There we go. Much better. And look, you can see the idle animation. Like, even while you're walking, Kiryu will check his tie-in brand watch. And right in. To the club, Sega, where we have fully functioning outrun machines, which look fantastic. We have uh, Super Hang On over here. We have to find the uh, Haruka fans. Who knows where they could be? I don't even know what they look like. Could could these guys be the fans? Hmm. 
No, I'm just kidding. I, I know exactly where they are. Here's their fully functioning space harrier. But uh, let, let's head upstairs. And see if we can spot the world's number one Haruka fan. Are you ready? Go. Haruka Sawamura Haruka. Let's see what they got. Yeah! Look at this guy! Dude, he is the coolest! This guy, this guy is my hero! Haruka Sawamura uh, fashion comes to the Yakuza fan store soon! I know you guys want it! It's not just me, I know it! So, let's have a Haruka quiz. I hope you guys have been paying attention, and I hope I don't make a fool of myself. So much more, so much less. Please, no more. Ha! <laughs> that guy is the best. The photo of Haruka-san is waiting for you over at the pawn shop. Oh, it's so good. I, I honestly wish this dude had more questions about Haruka to prove you're a fan. Again, we just walked right out here. Look how good that is. And then it's a uh, quick little jaunt all the way back down to uh, the Don Quixote. Here's a... Uh, let, let's show off something else that's, uh, I think, really cool. Right there, the tie-ins for Sony's Xperia brand of smartphones. The exact brand of phone that Kiryu is using. <laughs> I always appreciate that. We'll uh, we'll do the sub we'll do the sub story, and then we're going to uh, wrap this up with a quick visit to the uh, karaoke. Oh man! Okay, what's the easiest? There we go. We'll just book it down this way. Oh shit! Oh no! I took the turn too soon. And here it is. And boom, right in. Listen to this background track, you guys. What is going on? Yeah, whatever, man. That was weird. I'm here to buy. So, luckily, they do have a photo of Haruka here. It is 50,000 yen. Uh, we don't have even close to enough. We're about 20,000 yen short. But no big deal. So, we, we leave. We can head... Uh, you know, we, we can't afford it, but that's not a big deal. Ah, oh, no! We, we walked right into another sub-story. I'm, I'm just going to skip this... That is one of the best sub stories in the game. I highly recommend uh, checking that one out, you guys. Uh, it is a fantastic satire on a uh, uh, Siri and its smartphone AIs. It, it's really good, really, really like really good. Uh, I can't remember how far away we need to get in order to trigger the next uh, the next part of that sub story. I want to say we don't actually have to get that far. Like, man, does anyone else wish they'd bring back the, uh, the bounty missions from Yakuza uh, 3 and 4? They were so good. So you leave the store, you come back down. Oh, out of the way, lady. Oh. Back into the pawn shop, and I, with any luck, it's re it's got to the next part. Still not, Okay. Man, this is going to really make me work for it, isn't it? Well, what I wanted to show off, but I don't think it's going to let me. You can... You come back here later. Maybe I need to get into a random battle. Okay, let, let's go Let's go have a fight. Uh, if you do have $50,000, you can... Or 50,000 yen, I should say. You can buy that photo. And then you just take the photo to the little girl. And that's the end of the story. But if you don't have the money before you get there... There's a roving gang. You... Can go get in a fight, 
You come back. Look, look at that. Look at how good that looks. Yeah. I really love the Dragon Engine. Like, a lot of people had a problem with the fighting mechanics in this game. I, I loved it. It feels super brutal. What the hell did I just pick up? What item was that? Stimulate your digestive tract. So basically you can eat more so that you can get more uh, experience later. And here we go. I don't know why I came back this way, that was dumb. The streets still turn me around, you guys. Okay, let's see. M maybe it's uh maybe it's kicked over now. Yeah, okay, it hasn't. It's it's not gonna play nicely with me, so it's fine. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you can either buy that picture outright, or eventually, it's supposed to end up being sold when you come back to buy it, and that's too bad. And then you find a dude over here who already bought the picture, and you have to defend his honor. It's a, it's a whole thing. But uh, let's uh let's wrap this up with some karaoke. Like there's there's just so much to see and to do. Maybe I'll make a uh, follow-up video. I'll kind of break these down into little side activities. There we go. 500 yen. Let's do it. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna do one song. It's my favorite song. The best song in the game. And anyone who's played the series before, you can see they've changed the way that the karaoke works now. Instead of being like on one line per thing, it's now more like a, uh, a music rhythm game. It's a lot easier to uh, to get the hang of. And I can't remember if my controller is going to make sounds here, so... You guys can probably hear it. Sing along if you know the words. I don't. Get ready for a voice. There we go. Best song in the game. Calculating my rank. Pretty sure that was a full combo. I think I got like one or two goods. Come on, 99%. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, third in Japan. Damn it. Kiwami Kazumasa. <laughs> you know what? Top three, not bad. And then look, I got a little bit of experience for doing that. Anyway, you guys, I think that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for sticking with me. I, I hope you guys are really excited for Yakuza 6. Please check out the demo when it drops next week. I, it's only like a couple of days from now. It's like Tuesday. Please check it out. It's so much fun. Uh, if it's the same as the Japanese one, all of the uh, items and experience and uh, uh, cash that you accumulate in the demo should carry through to the full game. And yeah, make sure you check it out. It's, it's a really cool game. There, there are some flaws, but it is it is still one of the, the best games. They, I don't know. 
Like, I, I sound kind of down on it in my Japanese review, but coming back to it, knowing what, what to expect, but like, temper your expectations for the story. But for, as far as the gameplay goes, I think it's rock solid. Oh, DualShock 4 just disconnected, so that's me. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.